So we have studied about cell and tissue culture techniques. We know that the samples which have been extracted are cultured in petri dish uh, or in any other dish with a solution like PBS which is the culturing media. So how do you provide the environment that is required, the optimal conditions required for proper growth of these cultured cells and tissues. Here we have the incubator. The incubator provides the right temperature, humidity, CO2 levels which are required for optimal culturing of cells and tissues. So let us see what are the different options that the incubator provides us. Now this is the degree Celsius. So this is the degree Celsius for temperature setting. This button helps us to set the optimal temperature and it says that 37 degree Celsius is the optimal temperature for the culture growth. So it is set at 37 degree Celsius. So it takes time to ramp up. This is the current temperature and once we have set it to 37, it takes time to ramp up the temperature. And then what is the amount of CO2? In order to provide CO2, there is this white, if you can see there is a tube which goes through the cylinder. The cylinder is at one corner of the lab and that is the CO2 cylinder. There is a wall to open and then you have this uh, uh, gauge which is on top of it to see the pressure. So there is some amount of CO2 which is flowing through the cylinder and is given to the incubator. And the percentage of CO2 for optimal growth is 5%. So it is set at 5%. And these are the options, the top and bottom option to, to play with the to play with the settings. So you could adjust these settings with the help of these knobs. And then you have the 90 degree Celsius, the humidity. This, this is again, this again talks about the humidity where. Uh, a optimal humidity for the incubator to work is 95 percent. Now that we have seen all these features and the purpose of an incubator, let us see how it looks like. So this is the incubator and here is the glass door. So we turn this knob as you open this. You can see there are multiple slots. So each of this rack you could keep your cell or tissue culture petri dish inside these and in order to maintain humidity it is important that there is some amount of water the DI water has to be placed at the bottom. We, we prefer to put DI water so that there is no contamination. So all of this, this is how the incubator can be used and it becomes an essential part when you are doing the cell and tissue culture. Again, okay. So we have seen how an incubator is required to provide the necessary temperature, the CO2 levels, humidity, all of these controlled environments can be provided using the incubator for proper cell and tissue culture growth. So these are the multiple options, the panel here with the display which is the degree Celsius which is the temperature 
and the percentage CO2 levels and then the top and bottom arrow for settings and then you have this calibration to cali calibrate the device and then auto here option is to cleanse the entire uh, incubator. So you do that once uh, uh, every time you uh, after utilizing it over a period of time you have to cleanse the entire to prevent any kind of contamination inside this device. So now that we have seen the different features the optimal temperature condition for a proper cell culture growth is 37 degrees Celsius, humidity has to maintain has to be maintained to around 95 percent and CO2 is like 5 percent. So where is the CO2 coming from? We have a cylinder at the corner in the lab, in the facility here. So the, it has a valve, you open the valve, check for the pressure knobs and then there is this CO2 which is supplied to the incubator. Let us see. So this is how it is. So this is the So like you can see there are different shelves uh, to accommodate different to ac accommodate n number of petri dish. So let us open the glass door and each of these can be they have an individual rack facility and at the bottom always ensure that there is some water. We maintain some water to certain extent in this bottom level you know, for the humidity control the entire device you need to maintain some amount of humidity and hence you have the bottom rack filled with water. Let me close this. So now that you have seen how an incubator becomes an important part in laboratory for cell and tissue culture growth let me show you another device which is a new device in the laboratory. We have not fixed it yet but this is the shaker incubator. As we have seen how the incubator becomes an important component in order to provide a proper culture environment for your cell and tissue, the bacterial culture, yeast or any other bio uh, material which you want to study in uh, just to provide optimal conditions for growth. Let us see how the shaking incubator provides additional features like it would provide agitation to the entire culture. The shaking, why is shaking even required? When you shake it is more like stirring action. So when the shake happens it incorporates you know uniform, distribu uh, uniform distribution of nutrients throughout the culture medium also incorporates enough oxygen which would be required for the culture growth. Let us see how to operate this shaker incubator. Uh, initially let me power it on. This is the entire setup and the, 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 there are uh, vast types, the variations across features and this what we have in the laboratory here is a tabletop uh, a ta like you can see it is mounted on a table, uh, a small incubator and inside what is uh, there is uh, an experiment which is being conducted, a cell, uh, a bacterial culture growth is happening inside and uh, say and here let us see what are the options that are available. Here if you could see there are like I mentioned here there is a display say uh, the options which are available are temperature let us say I start as you can see there is temperature there is RPM and time you could set each of this for optimal growth. For optimal growth you uh, like I mentioned earlier there is 37 degrees Celsius temperature which has to be maintained and then the RPM which is uh, which, which you could set it for the desired rate and then for the time for which the incubation has to happen. So all of these features could be set using the options which are provided here. 
Now let's see how each of this can be controlled and while you can see inside I have stopped the incubator and open the lid make sure you take precautions not to run and then uh, use them. So these are a few devices which we are working on for uh, culture media. Let me remove this and let me show you the inter feature. So this is the uh, casing where it would actually vibrate and the entire setup like you can see the lot of springs on which you could place your medium. Now let's say I have assume I have a 50 ml tube in which I have uh, bacterial culture and then I put it here and then another medium through this and you need to give sufficient like I mentioned earlier you need to give them sufficient incorporate sufficient amount of uh, oxygen give a proper if in case there are nutrients it should be there should be a uniform mixture and then what happens is let's say I start if you can see see how it rotates this so there's a sort of agitation which it would provide for the set rpm and the temperature would be maintained inside for the set temperature for cell and tissue culture the optimal temperature 37 degrees celsius and then the required RPM can be set for the desired time. This ensures uniform mixture. The en en entire nutrients would be sufficiently distributed to the entire sample or the, the culture growth, the amount of quantity that you had taken to study. So this is the advantage what the shaker incubator can provide rather than the conventional incubator what we have already seen. Also, when you want to uh, have an incubator, look for features where you could look for programmability like increasing the temperature or setting the RPM. So all these features should be available. You have a control over adjusting the RPM temperature and then the amount, the, the kind of interior. Here it is a stainless steel interior. So it, 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 uh, it is free from rust and other things and gives long life. So these are the features which you, sh you should look for while you choose an incubator. Now that we have seen, now I hope you have understood how a shaker incubator provides advantages and how it enhances the entire process of cell and tissue culture growth. So let me stop it now. Yes, this was a uh, the, uh, this is how the entire system can be operated and used in case you would, you would like to use them uh, to enhance the entire process of growth uh, of any sample which you want to study. Thank you.